All right, guys, this video is going to be about as long as that fight was. What a knockout, or should I say three knockouts? Uh, this is the Hoops Nerd Show. All right, guys, that went uh, completely opposite of what I expected. Knowing who Nate Robinson is, three-time NBA dunk champ, absolute incredible athlete, uh, could have been an NBA or could have been an NFL uh, cornerback, scholarships everywhere. So he's just an un unreal athlete, world-class athlete, going up against Jake Paul, who I know very little, to be honest. Just a YouTuber. I think he's a Viner. I'm not sure. But definitely a like physically ready for this fight because I thought Nate Robinson would be just like imposing in this, and it was the opposite. So, you know, this was, for me, just a little intrigue. It's just an exhibition fight. By the way, what a photo. Heavens, good heavens, my goodness, what Jake Paul did, that was, that felt a little wrong, but we all enjoyed it, right? That was crazy. But anyways, uh, Jake Paul comes in this fight, obviously has a little bit of experience. I believe he fought some other YouTuber a while back that was, you know, I don't know, who knows? I'm a basketball guy. But the reason I'm talking about is this Nate Robinson. I thought Nate Robinson would come in and just be physically imposing to Jake Paul. Uh, they're pretty much the same size, but like Jake Paul looks like he has length and and size on Nate Robinson and he used it. The whole fight, it kind of just looked like Nate Robinson didn't know what he was doing. Apparently this guy has been training, but you know, I'm not like a boxing expert, but when you're not like in your stance ever and you're just running up to a guy and hugging him and just kind of like delaying the fight, like he didn't know what he was doing and Jake Paul did. And that was the difference. And not only did Jake Paul know what he was doing, he knew how to like counter. He had some legit, like legit talent and su and style. I like, I don't think this guy's going pro anytime, but he can definitely fight exhibition fights for sure. Uh, he just, Jake Paul just knew how to fight. He just like squared him up. He like stayed in his stance, had discipline, and then he took his shots and Nate Robinson dropped three times. <laughs> like that first shot, I think it shocked everyone when he went to the ground and he didn't just like, he didn't just like stumble. He felt like the you know, like the Leaning Tower of Pisa just lost its ground and just fell flat. Like a board falling off of a, a house just hit the ground three times. I just, I don't think I've been this shocked by an outcome since the 3-1 when the Cavaliers came back and beat the Warriors. This is like, I mean, and maybe that's the thing. I shouldn't have disrespected Jake Paul. Everyone can tell me how much, how stupid I am for disrespecting him. I don't care. I... I am going to pay attention now a little more. Next time someone fights Jake Paul, you're the underdog, apparently. Because Nate Robinson, NBA athlete, just got dropped. Unbelievable. That was fun, guys. I had a lot of fun. I don't know what else to say. Three times to the ground. That last one, he looked like, I mean, get the, call the morgue, I guess. He looked terrible. I, I got to say one thing else. Snoop Dogg was an incredible. Can he just, like... Can he color commentate everything like the boxing matches, basketball, football games? I mean, <laughs> what did he say? Nate from the hood, he'll get back up. That was amazing. Just really entertaining. The only thing you can say is only like a minute long. This video is longer already, I think, than the fight was. Guys, that's all I got to say. Like and subscribe to the channel. We'll be talking about basketball next time. Uh, talk to you later. <laughs>